Donnie Simpson is a trailblazer and a true media legend with a love for music and radio that started when he was a young kid growing up in Detroit. Donnie knew that he wanted to become a radio personality after he was asked to read live commercials during a popular radio station's live broadcast from his mom's record store, Simpson's Record Shop. Shortly thereafter, at the age of 15, Donnie was given his own radio show at the same radio station. In 1977, after eight years on Detroit's airwaves, Donnie headed to WKYS and the green-eyed bandit took DC by storm. He led the station to unprecedented success. It's Melody, only on 93 KYS. While still finding time to serve as backup sports anchor for legendary sportscaster George Michael on WRC-TV. We got sports. George is off and Scott is off, but Donnie loves the work. Sports <laughs> is his life. That's so right. here. What's happening? <laughs> well, a lot's happening. Uh, the Orioles are in Boston tonight. In 1983, Donnie paved his way into television history when he joined BET as host of Video Soul. It's Video Soul! I'm Donnie Simpson. Can you join me tonight for Video Soul? What are you doing at 9? You got nothing to do, man. Check the show out tonight. Donnie. Ladies, don't ever let a man talk to you like that. If he does, give me a call. We can hook up. <laughs> I'm Video Soul. Over the next 18 years, Donnie would rack up some of the most memorable interviews with some of the biggest stars and be considered one of the nation's first video jockeys. Look at the legs first. Look at the legs. Come on, move it, man. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. More like Alf Alf. Joining us now, William Bootsy. Wait a minute. Excuse me, but is this a pick? Yeah, that's a. That's to keep everything in order, you know. They call themselves Jodeci, and we welcome them to Video Soul. In vogue on Video Soul. <laughs> oh, boy. That is crazy. Want some more camera time? God, we'll be back. We got a second hour. Bobby's got to go, though. We're back. We're talking with new edition on... <laughs> yep. In 1993, Donnie took his talents to CBS Radio, where he spent the next 17 years and continued to change the game of radio. As if he wasn't busy enough with his successful radio and TV shows, Donnie appeared in such classic movies as Crush Groove and the Five Heartbeats and popular TV sitcoms Martin and the Jamie Foxx Show. Green Eyes, Dr. Green Eyes, man. How you doing, bro? You don't recognize me, do you? I'm 20th caller. Oh, yeah, yeah, you the sucker to call collect. Donnie's contribution to society isn't limited to radio and television. He's also active in the community. He has served as honorary chairman of the National Black Family Reunion, assisted in fundraising efforts for AIDS research at the United Negro College Fund. And along with his wife, he established the Donnie and Pam Scholarship Fund. In 2010, Donnie retired from radio, but his undeniable passion for radio and love for his listeners brought him out of retirement right into Afternoon Drive on Radio 1's WMMJFM, Magic 102.3 and 92.7. If there's going to be a real sound of the DMV, I'm going to be a part of it. I'm Donnie Simpson, and I'm back. Five and a half years of retirement, legendary radio personality, Donnie Simpson is back. There was so much excitement about Donnie's return to radio that it was the number one trending story on social media during his first few days on air. Throughout his career, Donnie has earned countless awards and recognition, including Billboard Magazine's Radio Program Director of the Year and Air Personality of the Year in 1993, induction into the BET Walk of Fame in 2004, and in 2015, he was inducted into the R&B Music Hall of Fame, becoming the first non-musician to be inducted. And tonight, we celebrate Donnie's 40th anniversary on the Washington, D.C. airwaves. Who knew that the son of a record store owner would impact so many listeners and play such a major role in the success of some of the biggest artists in the world? And in the process, Detroit's son became a true Washingtonian. Whether you remember him as the Love Bug, Dr. Green Eyes, or the Green Eyed Bandit, you will always remember that he told us to shoot for the moon. And even if you miss, you'll be among the stars. We salute an icon tonight. 
the one and only Donnie Simpson.